Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So right now, I just kind of woke up and got outside, so I kind of look a little rough. And um, I wanted to just kind of explain the storms and stuff. I didn't get a lot of video because we were bunkered down a lot. Um, I got a little bit of lightning before the actual tornadoes hit. But I'm going to go around and kind of show how much actual rain we got. We got, I don't know the actual percentage or inches or nothing like that right now, but we got a lot. First thing I came to do was mainly check on the goats. Um, I kind of walked around and looked at them and they seemed fine. Um, Moonspot is still pregnant. She was my main concern on this part. Um, but I noticed over here that we have a fence that is halfway open. So I'm wondering if the um, animals got out, the llamas and um, the little donkeys, um, maybe even the ponies were all kind of sorted on the side. But I'm gonna check those. But we, as, as in us, like our farm looks okay, but the town next to us in Sulphur, I'm sure everybody has actually watched the news and seen, they actually had two tornadoes go right down inside of Sulphur. And um, this, it, Brandon's just, con he's pretty much just explained it as it's bad. It's not good. They are having to um, debris everything. Um, Brandon actually got trapped at his brother's house in the cellar because he had to go over there for a minute and they, he went to check on them and the second tornado hit right as pretty much as soon as he got to their house. So he ended up going down in a shelter and a building fell on top of it. So luckily they were able to get people over there to help them and get out of there. But I just want to say thank you to everyone that has helped and just keep everybody and their family in their prayers because there was buildings after buildings collapsed and there's so many that lost their homes um, and so many people that have actually gotten hurt. So just keep all of them in your prayers, all the first responders that are still out there and they're just helping and just, I don't know any other words, but right now I just wanted to go check on the farm and um, see if our animals are still in. I thank God that our home didn't get, um, well, our tiny house didn't get destroyed in the process, but all right, so I'm going to take you around for a minute and then this will probably be a two day video. I'll follow up tomorrow, but I just wanted to take you along today. So this is where I'm actually showing that the llamas and stuff might have gotten out because if you see down there, this is one of the pens that we left open. And um, so we're gonna go and check along this fence line to see if they're actually there. I'm gonna kind of stay with the side by side. I'm gonna stay on the rocks just because how muddy it is. Okay, I see llamas. That donkeys. That's good, that's good. Kind of walk down here. I'm gonna, oh yeah, see the rain has gotten so heavy that the electric, I'm going to have to go and turn the electric off because it's grounding out right here. So you see this puddle is pretty, pretty deep. That's a lot of water that we got. As I'm walking back here to actually unplug this, I'll show you this pond because it is completely up. All right, so it's off. I'm gonna try to see if I can step on this.
Look at that. This is never wet unless we get a lot of water. There's an overflow. Oh my gosh. I can see it now. I guess I should have just came this way first. I didn't realize this was so full. I knew it was full, but not full. Oh wow. Look at that overflow. Look at this pond. Oh my gosh. That is insane. That is how much water we got. And it didn't start until like um, 9 or 10 o'clock last night. Wow. So now I'm actually going to go finish checking on these animals. I'm going to grab the side to side, drive back down here. That is crazy. Look at that. I'm going to see if I can get kind of closer down in there. Are y'all okay? Were y'all just a little bit scared? Hi, Princess Layla. Hi, sister. Hi, Socks. Wow. So the water's coming down from the pond this way. Got a stream. That is insane. All the way back into over there. I don't know if I can actually get a good sight. Maybe from here. Water is all down in there too. So yes, we got a lot of water. We got a lot of rain. I just, I can't express how much sulfur in all these areas, not just sulfur. I, they need your prayers right now. Um, I think it was Henny Pen that had some tornado activity. Um, then of course sulfur. I think I heard Mill Creek and Dixon. Um, Marietta, I think. Um, not only in our county either, there was tornadoes, like not even in our state, but there was tornadoes, different states also. So just keep everyone in your prayers, everyone that was affected by storms in one way or another. Um, I'm going to get back up here to the side, side and see if I can go back down a little bit more. I'm still looking for our three females. Okay, there they are. That's who I wanted to check on right there because they were actually on the outside. All right, good. So, all the animals look like they're accounted for. I'm going to go ahead and go tie up this um, pin and then we're probably going to go get something for breakfast. We're not going to Sulphur. That is completely shut off. But um, anyways, we will see you back on the farm tomorrow. One more thing I wanted to show before I get off here was this pond.
So obviously it was fuller because you can see this dark ground. So it actually overflowed through here. Hey, Mama G. Oh, it's completely pushed this barrel to the top, which is actually good. We've been wanting to get it out of there for a while. Look how much debris and all oh, the little puppy's little hidey hose going. Mama G, how was that? How was that sleep last night? Pretty rough, it looks like. Well. All right, well, y'all seen this? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna run up here and kind of look at that overflow as well, and even that pond. It, this is the reason our pond got so big is there's a pond across the street and it overflows into our pond so that it doesn't go over the road. So let's go look at it. You can see right here, this is where we burned all of the, the trees and stuff right over there. And then it has completely wiped this out where we can't, we usually drive you can kind of see the roadway. We drive right through there to get to that other side. Oh yeah, I can see that. apologize for the sound again because I completely woke up and just came checking on animals I didn't even wasn't even thinking about videoing I was just wanted to check on Moonspot real fast and see how big the ponds were and stuff and wanted to bring you guys along here's the pond on the other side it's hard to see through all the brush but you can see kind of see how full it is, obviously from the other side. But now we're going to actually go and grab breakfast. The kiddos were up before I was, of course, and we was up all night. Um, we was up all night with the storms and checking on people and staying in the shelter. I don't think we actually got home and in bed until it was after one o'clock in the morning. So anyways, I will see y'all tomorrow on the phone. Okay, so today is day two and it's back and it's actually um, Monday and the kids went back to school and stuff today. And, um, but yesterday and, well, Saturday and Sunday, because it's kind of midnight-ish, Saturday night, and it was, it was crazy. It was horrible. Um, but I'm gonna show some video clips and from kind of before when there was uh, the lightning show and everything and then um, show some pictures of the aftermath and some video footage of the aftermath of our town. Um, but first I want to show my brother and sister-in-law's house. Their house got um, a little bit of damage, 
not near as much as what some of these um, homes have but Brandon ended up actually getting stuck in the cellar with them so what happened was he was he ended up over at his brother's house and they um the second tornado came through because there was two tornadoes in sulfur oklahoma and um, the second one came through so brandon was like i gotta get underground so he went underground with the rest of the family and um then they got blocked in because they have a building that sits on top of the shelter and it just kind of stays there well it ended up caving in and what happened was a tree fell on it from the neighbor's yard you'll see the pictures but a tree fell on it and it ended up blocking the whole door so they had to wait on people to come over there and get them out of their shelter and you know that that wasn't just their them that was a bunch there was a bunch of people that got trapped in their shelters um it was unreal but anyways i wanted to show a few clips and i'll kind of put some words in there of um what i'm talking about and stuff so um but anyways i'm gonna close it out here and then i'll show the pictures but i hope you guys enjoyed our video and please 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 keep saying prayers for all these families that were affected by these tornadoes so i hope you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up turn notification bell on and subscribe god bless All right guys, so we have made it to the shelter. Um, the tornado warning, the sirens are going off. We live in the country, of course, so we can't hear the sirens, but our phone's going off. Brandon's been talking to some deputies that's actually working right now and watching the storms for everybody. And um, yeah, that's, it's, right now it's just lightning, but we are in a warning, but I'm literally steps away from the, actual storm shelter i just want to see if i can see anything because this is the weather that like i say every year i love love this weather but i do not want anybody to get hurt with the weather like i love tornadoes but like i said i don't i want it to hit fields where it's not hurting anything so oh that was really pretty Sounds like it's actually raining pretty good right now. It's starting to, ooh, it's getting cold. the electricity just went off and came back on I had to take Brandon back to the house because a tornado dropped down in the middle of uh, sulfur which Brandon works that area and there's people trapped in houses and stuff so he actually had to go in if stuff like that happens all deputies have to go in and um, yeah, so he, he is out there, so y'all just keep filming. I mean, obviously, you're going to see this video after the fact, but we're saying prayers right now that he's going to be okay. I'm going to face this rain and actually get back in this house. The kids are all here. Layton's with Nana and Papa. Um, he stayed not over there again, but they're in the cellar right now, so they're fine. We're fine. Y'all just keep everybody in your prayers. 
we're gonna stay in back. We don't want to be in all the mess and get in the way. But this is kind of, you see, this is the best barn and it's got vehicles turned over. It's been bad. Right straight ahead of us was actually where the snack shack was. You can kind of see some of these houses. But right in front of us was where our convenience store was. And now it's not. So much damage. There's a bunch of people cooking out too because there's no electric. Yeah, and this guy riding a scooter. Cars probably have uh, batteries and it's electric. Yeah, it could be. But you can say the electric. They have so many poles staged up over at their command post of just poles that they're going to be redoing and putting up for electric. This was a, it was a dog um, boarding place. And that was the gas station. Yes, yeah. this was the gas station right here. That was the one that, like, this was like, Snack Shack East is what we called it. So they're working on getting the power back up. This right over here was the liquor store. Auto repair store shop. It's a big tree. 